welcome back for moto number two of the 2020 rev limiter extreme enduro you are on board with my brother billy myers who competed in the event all weekend long before i forget go ahead and click that subscribe button for more dirt bike videos hard enduro races extreme enduro races and some throwback motocross videos He wasn't wasting any time here in Moto2 and starts off aggressive. The footage we have of Moto2 is not very long. That's due to a very severe pileup that he had, which broke the camera right off the fender. hoping that the camera captured the moment that he that it breaks off, but the impact must have set, um, shut the camera off or something because I look for it on here and the film just ends, and it ends just before it happens. instance he tries to be aggressive and use another line but it almost ends up backfiring on him luckily he doesn't lose a position now if you're interested in seeing moto one or the hot lap of the event i'll go ahead and put those links right here in the top of the video so you can click on them and it'll bring you straight to those videos. I didn't notice the dust nearly as much in the first moto as I'm noticing it now so you can tell the sun's beating on that track and it's definitely a lot warmer than it was before. As aggressive as he was trying to be in Moto2, he ended up placing 25th in this race, which is also what he placed in Moto number 1. The third moto was actually one of his best of the weekend. He ended up with 20th place in that moto. And then for your overall, they averaged your places for all three motos. So he ended up with 22nd overall from all three of the motos. guys are no slouches either. The, the talent that keeps showing up at these races just keeps getting better and better and there's a lot of really really good riders out here. sucks that the camera broke off because I would have really enjoyed watching his uh, third moto but thinking about it they're lucky that they found the camera at all and that we're able to even watch moto 1 and moto 2. I've been there, buddy. I know exactly how that feels. That sucks. So up 
up ahead there, that's uh, Sherco rider Jackson Davis. One thing I do like about the fender view is that you get to see ahead pretty far away as far as the path will let you see or the trail will let you see. So I do kind of like that fact. Billy squeezes by him and is able to make the pass. hill is all tore up. Look at all those rocks. I remember last year when we came out here that there was still grass on that hillside and overgrown. Not anymore. Now I was finally able to figure out new rock section. It was called Mount Rushmore. They put it in from last year and it seemed to be quite a hit. As a spectator, it's just a really good area to check out all the action. not quite able to clean the section, although he does manage to get through it in a quick manner. As they come off this hill, they don't loop back up around like they did for moto number one. They kind of cut off into the woods. You're going to see the uh, one of the track officials falls down here pointing the way. And uh, yeah, right where he fell, moto one, they would have turned left and went up over that hill. right out onto the trail where my brother almost mowed somebody over on a trials bike in moto number one. consuming or bad.
gets up to a bottleneck but does not have to wait very long before things get rolling. And then things up here seem a little bit crazy. There's just bikes, dirt, and mayhem all over the place. And uh, it's right around this tree that he ends up piling up and the camera breaks off. But like I said, it just didn't save to the SD card. So I'm not sure if the impact was that hard where it just shut off the camera. But it was nowhere to be found. Unfortunately, that's all there is for moto number two. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.